name's Noah Good. I'm a P5 pharmacist here. You're not a P5. Oh, shoot, I'm not. <laughs> Take two! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Are you sure his name's Noah? Yeah, I am. <laughs> My name is Reese Weisenfloh, I'm a P4 on campus, and I'm a pharmacy major. My name is Noah Good, I'm a P4 pharmacy student. I would consider myself extremely involved on campus. I'm involved in Student Senate and various pharmacy organizations, so I do keep ties to the general student body and the pharmacy-specific college. I'm not highly involved. I just did in campus high and then some little things in pharmacy, but no. I got one, but let me think of some others. I would say the culture of pharmacy college can be described in three ways. It can be described as dedicated, intelligent, and whiny all at the same time. Friendly, connective, and what's the last one? You can say it, what? Tough. Tough. As, as the years go on, it's not so tough, but uh, it's kind of a little bit of a shock when you're coming out of high school in your first year, second year going into college, uh, learning study habits and that kind of stuff. Uh, course load's definitely a lot different than high school, uh, but yeah, I think um, the pharmacy majors are some of the most dedicated majors on campus. I think that they do a great job of staying on top of their studies, and I think they're extremely intelligent because of that. I mean, they're in STEM major because they are very smart, and you find some of the smartest people you've ever met in the College of Pharmacy. But with that, I think a lot of them have this idea that maybe it should be handed to them, maybe it's a selection process for the pharmacy students that might be a little bit off, a little bit disconnected, but there is a lot of whining and complaining when things don't go their way just because they feel like they put a lot of effort into, I guess, their exams. So would you say it's competitive? Yes, to some people, but not for me. <laughs> a successful person. You want me to name drop right now? <laughs> I'd say one that goes to class every day and puts in the work, uh, is very well connected with the classmates that are around them. It had, brings up the vibes of the class too as well. Um, is not afraid to help any other student. I think that's really important for pharmacy and um, one that's involved with other things on campus as well. Friendly also, you know, one that's not going to deter somebody's ambitions. So someone that I always looked up to and considered an idol was Mae Beth James. She graduated this past year in the class of 2022. She's a Cleveland Clinic resident. She's focusing on administration in the hospital setting, so she's going to be an extremely, extremely successful person. She just is a living, breathing form of what you would call leadership. She gathers people around her. People aspire to be her. She makes people work well. She's very direct. She is one of the most intelligent people I've met, and a lot of that, I think, comes from her experience and not being afraid to diversify herself. She's not afraid to take new experiences. She's not afraid to meet new people. She has been a wonderful mentor and she's never afraid to share the knowledge that she's gathered along her journey. So I think that's one person that I really aspire to be like. I would say probably depending on the day, depending if it's on an exam day, if you're looking like me in sweats. In a sweatshirt. Oh, I don't. Hoodies, sweatpants, the pharmacy majors don't care. Once you get past your first year, especially as a pharmacy major, you don't care what people think about you, your appearance, your looks. You're all holed up in the same building, you're all in the program together, and there's no real competitive nature like other programs or other schools. So we kind of just, I guess, let our guards fall down a bit. Uh, going into class like two minutes before, <laughs> before it starts. But normally they'd probably be uh, decently well put together coming into class, prepared with their laptops and their book bags. 
not me though. In the College of Pharmacy, the average student um, probably doesn't go to class, honestly, because we have recorded lectures. Uh, they're a brilliant piece of technology that allow us to really excel, and they allow us to learn at our own pace, learn in what ways fit us best. If you go to class, I think that that's the minority of students, honestly, you'll probably find the same 20 to 30 students in every class. Um, when there's in reality 100 students in each class of pharmacy as a whole, so I would say you probably wouldn't see them at class. I think they do a good mixture of both. I think they try to have the students lead it, but um, the faculty also help them as well in the organization. So I think that's a very uh, important thing that they try to have the they push for the students to lead it, and the faculty are there to help. I would say the College of Pharmacy um, has a couple core functions like a lot of the welcome back events that the faculty and the college itself run. But I would say other than that, it's very student run. If you are relying on anything to be done, you're gonna go through student organizations. You need outreach hours, which might I say are a part of the curriculum. You're probably going to your student organizations because they're gonna be student led projects, student led community outreach. A lot of what is done and like actually done and available to the students is by the students, which I think is really inspiring as a current student to see all the waves of generations of students before me that have set up all this groundwork, and we just kind of run with what we're given each year. But it's really nice to see that the students are the ones taking more initiative, I think. students um college of business mm -hmm. it's interesting um i don't know i really haven't interacted with a lot of people in college of business but i see it as a uh, i don't know i don't know honestly i think there's a negative stigma in the college of pharmacy on business students that they don't work as hard as us they kind of get the stuff handed to them because their classes are easier as a whole, um, which is pretty objective for the most part, especially for the principals classes. We don't really have too many principals or foundations classes in pharmacy. You're kind of thrown into very complex subjects at a very early stage because you're expected to be a graduate level student. You're expected to have some basic competencies, unlike the business students who they're going through their first bachelor's degree. Um, the expectation is higher for pharmacy students or PhD graduate level students like law. So I think there is a bit of a negative stigma around business classes and students that they kind of just don't have to work as hard. They can just show up to their exams, get B's or A's if they're half smart and just coast along. So a bit of resentment, I think, from the pharmacy college. That's all I got. <laughs> college of Arts and Sciences, they are a whole nother breed because Every person you talk to in the College of Arts and Sciences, they don't have the same major. There's, I think, a very broad spectrum of what majors they offer, which is great, but I don't interact with too many of them very often, especially once I hit my third and fourth years in pharmacy. We get very specialized. We start hanging around our class, and that's it. So They're talented. I go to some of the... Uh, I'm so musically like out of it, so when I took... Of music appreciation and everything like that you can always pick out the ones that are actually in art and science and it's they're very talented yeah especially with the plays they put on the musicals they're fine students i guess um a lot of really thinking smart people doing molecular biology and a lot of people doing pretty i would say easier or more like easy concepts to wrap your head around like communications or maybe a language arts degree but I think I like the variety that they offer. What about the College of Law? Arrogant. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I know one person from College of Law. They're very smart, uh, hardworking people. I mean, it's going to be a hard college. I mean, it's hard to go through law school, so. College of Law? Don't know her. <laughs> I've never met a College of Law student until this past year and actually interacted with them. 
so I can't really say I have any input on them other than they keep to themselves and they're all incredibly hardworking people from the people that I've met so far. <laughs> College of Engineering, they're mean. Um, they don't really let us go study in their building anymore. They get annoyed. Um, I think it's a little bit rightful in some cases, but I think that they whine a little bit too, like the pharmacy students. They get the brand new building, the nice new appliances, and they don't want people touching their stuff, which is fine, but you know, you get the shiny new object, everyone wants to play and touch it. But that's it. Most of the engineers are pretty cool. Some of them are a little, a little weird, but <laughs> just pray they took a shower that day. <laughs> Smart people as well. <laughs> they work hard too, but um, uh, let's see, who do I know in College of Engineering to give an example? They're not, I don't know, they're not, I, don't, I, th I think I know where you're getting at here, but I don't know. I don't see anybody but pharmacy people. Anything else about pharmacy and culture? I'm proud to be a polar bear and I hope everyone else can find the experiences on campus that make them want to call this place home for the next four to six years of their life. Go Bears. All right. Yeah. Good luck.